Um, so we're just going to be talking about Everbright coatings today and how it can be used to restore facades um, and building structures. So a little bit about Everbright coatings. Uh, we have been in business for 30 years. Our main focus has been traditionally consumer based. Uh, so we have an e-commerce website where we sell our products worldwide. We do have a worldwide distrib distributor network with uh, distributors in uh, the UK, the UAE, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Can and Canada. Uh, and then we sell worldwide as well. Uh, we do sell mostly for those products to homeowners and they're doing DIY projects, they're doing their copper roofs, they're doing uh, their metal siding, things like that. We also sell to artists, everything from jewelry designers to large scale art like John Hare, where his large scale art is all over um, the country, as well as New Zealand has a ton of uh, beautiful public art that they've coded with Everbright. Um, so that consumer website is everbrightcodings.com and the pro website is pro.everbrightcodings.com and that's focused more on the commercial space. So commercially, we've been in the self-storage industry for 25 years, and that has been our primary focus um, as far as commercial buildings go. Uh, we've also worked with large-scale renovation projects, but we have worked uh, with individual inquiries. So people, contractors coming to us, asking us for advice and for information on our products and for application of our products on the projects that they have been awarded. Um, so that's how we've worked with contractors in the past. And that's how we will, um, so just recently, we have started reaching out to different industries. So one, again, the, the three that, the main three that I've been focusing on have been facade restoration, facilities maintenance, and historical preservation and restoration. And so now you're just starting to see us. It's not that we're a new company. It's not even that we have uh, a new coating. Well, we do have a new microbial coat coating, but um, we are just finally reaching out to others in the industry trying to grow. So our three coatings are Everbright, our flagship coating. This is a clear UV protectant coating that restores the faded uh, or that restores the color and luster to faded and oxidized metal. Um, protect a clear, which is a harder, thinner coating for high touch surfaces, and it protects against salt damage, tarnish, corrosion, and oxidation. And this is more for mirror finish metals as well as high higher use metals. Then uh, this last year, actually just pre-COVID, we developed Crobial Coat, which is our protect the clear coating with microband antimicrobial technology introduced into it. And so it has all the same protective qualities as protect the clear with microband antimicro antimicrobial technology, which we'll discuss later. So as you're trying to figure out which coating is best for your use, first you wanna look at whether you want antimicrobial protection then you would choose microbial coat. If not, is if the surface is stainless steel, high use and abuse, or mere polished finish, then you would look at protect clear And anything painted, anodized, rusted, or architectural would be used with Everbright. So these are a few of our other products. We have a uh, copper cleaning gel that is used to reduce um, tarnish and whatnot on copper and bring it back to its original bright, shiny look. We do recommend a few metal polishes, Midas Touch being one of them. We have triple aught synthetic steel wool. So we use these a lot, we found in the storage industry, and we got to a point where we couldn't even get them any longer. So we decided to become a Norton distributor. So these are Norton synthetic steel wool pads. Um, they're great pads, I call them magic pads. You can take off scuffing, any scratches, uh, not so much scratches, but scuffing, scuff marks, um, oxidation, tarnish with these pads without damaging the surfaces below. We also have a rust remover, which is also a stainless steel cleaner. It makes stainless steel look brand new and bright and shiny, as well as removing rust from most metals and concrete. And we have, then we have our easy prep cleaner, and it's also an acid neutralizer. So a lot of polishes um, and, and tarnish removers are acid-based and you'll want to remove the acids and neutralize that acid before you go ahead with the coating. So those are our uh, accompanying companion products. 
So Everbright products can restore the original look of surfaces or pres preserve historical weathering of all of these different kinds of metals, stainless, aluminum, anodized aluminum, mm -hmm. copper, brass, chrome, bare metals, painted metals, powder coated metals, ceramics, hard plastics, most of them hardwoods and fiberglass. So the properties of all of our coatings is that they have an excellent adhesion on all metals and most other hard surfaces. They all protect from sun, salt air, acid rain, moisture, and other damaging elements. They're all self-annealing and self-leveling. So we'll go over that a little bit further. Uh, they protect surfaces for years and can be maintained indefinitely. And the indefinitely, uh, being maintained is because of the self-annealing properties. Uh, graffiti and scratch resistant, and this again, um, they act like a sacrificial coating to protect the surface and recoating is much uh, more economical and it looks a lot better than other uh, solutions to graffiti. How that works is uh, when you have our coating and it acts like a sacrificial coating. So when you have a surface that's coated, and someone graffitis on top of it, you can remove our coating and that graffiti and it comes right off. And then you simply reapply the coating and because of the self annealing properties, it will blend to itself and you will not notice where you had that graffiti um, replaced. Uh, our coatings remain flexible. They will not crack, chip, peel or yellow, even with the expansion and contraction of metal. This was very important to us in our self storage work because those self-storage doors are rolled up and down thousands of times and they're tightly bound in when they are rolled up and our coatings are flexible enough to be able to withstand that wear and tear. All of our coatings can be applied with a lint fleet free applicator or cloth, a microfiber roller, natural bristle brushes, or that can be sprayed as well. Each provides a thousand square feet per gallon of coverage. The number of coats depends on the surface that you're coating. However, single coat is a thousand square feet per, per gallon. All of our coatings have an indefinite shelf life in a closed container. So if you use um, some of the coating and you haven't used it all, you can close tightly the container that it came in or put it into another clean glass or metal container, tightly seal it, and that coating will last indefinitely for use at a later date. Our coatings are available in low VOC and lead compliant formulas. We'll go over that a little bit more in a minute. They do not contain any carcinogens. So here in California, where we manufacture our coating, the um, state requires a warning for any product that has a carcinogen in it. And our, none of our coatings require that label. All of our coatings are food safe once cured and they will not wash off. They are solvent based, they are not water based, so they will stay on a surface for many years and they're not washed off with conventional um, cleaners. You want to avoid any solvent based cleaners or any um, citrus based cleaners, but other than that, any bleach or um, ammonia or any 409, Windex, Clorox, any of those things will keep surfaces clean and it will not wash off the coating. So the specialty application properties, like I was talking about the self-leveling and self-annealing properties. So as the coating dries, it self-levels. So you can coat um, a surface and you won't see, as long as you apply it according to the directions, you won't see any streaking lines or orange peel once the coating has um, dried. They, it provides a perfect crystal clear surface once dried, and it will help smooth out rough surfaces like rusted metal. So we're currently doing a project in San Francisco um, on a very large historical building that has a lot of rust and old paint that they want to preserve on the building. And so we've recommended three coats of our coating, and that will not only seal in the rust, and prevent it from staining the brand new concrete underneath it, but it will also um, smooth out the surface of the rust. The self annealing properties of our coatings means that any runs or drips can be fixed with another coat, holidays as well. Um, you can correct holidays, scratch, scratches, gouges, and graffiti uh, after the coating is, is 
cure, uh, dried and cured, again, you can either go back over it to create another um, surface of layer of protection. And the coating really does blend to itself. So when you add coats, even years later, you can be so you can apply the coating and it will blend to itself. The first coat will blend to the future coats and it will create one level surface instead of layers upon layers upon layers like some paint. So the low VOC properties, um, Everbright, are, we call it our California formulation because it um, meets the standards of the South Coast Air District. And we do have compliance testing certificates uh, that will, um, we can provide to you. And um, our protective clear and probial coat are exempt from those because of the solvent that they use. Uh, the this means that our, these coatings are faster drying. Uh, they cannot be shipped by air, they must be shipped by ground, and they are slightly heavier. So again, these, this testing certificate is available for you if you need it. So a little bit more about Everbright. It's a clear protective coating that will bring back the color and luster of old faded metal. It has UV blockers and antioxidants to protect from sun damage, as well as additives to protect against tarnish, oxidation, and corrosion. These are huge issues in areas where there is salt uh, air on the coast. And so our coatings really do protect the metal against the, the salt air and the corrosion that happens with that. And again, they can be used on any metal, wood, hard plastic, and fiberglass. So um, they can be used painted metal, copper and bronze, anodized aluminum, rusted metal, raw, corten, and cold rolled steel. And they are available in satin finish as well as um, a gloss finish. Uh, some of the projects that have been done with our coatings, the Aeon Center, the crown and column restoration was completed by Spectra Company in 2008. Uh, they were going to do the rest of the paneling, but in 2008, when the market crashed, the budget was no longer there to restore the rest of the building. So if you look, though, today, the crowns and the columns actually still look wonderful. And Spectra actually presented their work on that building to the California Preservation Foundation, and they uh, presented their aluminum restoration procedures, which included the R procedures and the application of Protective Clear or Everbright um, in their procedures. And this is how it looks. So you can see the difference in the panels, the dripping and resting down the panels, and then the clean panels up above um, is some of the results on that building. Another large project that was done is the Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles. And this was completed by South Shore Building Services. You can see their swing stage there with the guys spraying on the application. So again, it is up to you as to how you would want to apply it. You can spray it, the coating on, as well as wiping it on. We did have one customer who was on a swing stage. They took a two by four, wrapped it in cheesecloth, created a trough, for the coating and then ran the, the wrapped two by four down the length of the panel. Um, this is that same building. So you can see some of the tarnish and oxidation. And actually there was a failure of another coating that had happened on this building. And it was able to be stripped and repaired with the Everbright. And again, it still looks great. This was done in 2020. So it's not that long ago but we were able to correct the, the failure of another, um, of another um, coating. Oh, there we go. So this is the Brown County Courthouse in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So what happened with this courthouse and this dome is that they refinished the dome and someone told them to coat the dome with mineral oil. And so what happened is the mineral oil is not appropriate for that use, obviously, and all of the um, dirt and smog and disgusting air from the environment all just leached onto that mineral oil and turned the, the crown that had just been restored, turned it black. So uh, Teresa, our company president, went out, met with the County Board of Supervisors actually climbed up to the dome and did the test herself to ensure that Everbright would work well. 
And this picture on the right, you can see is how it turned out and how it looks today. Um, so again, you do have to clean the surface either with bead blasting, soda blasting, and then you can coat it and it will be protected for years. Uh, this IBM building in Dallas, you can see these panels, how before these are traditionally, um, these ECM panels get very dirty, get a lot of rundown. And so this uh, contractor, Professional Property Consultants and Services, actually was able to clean off all of the surfaces and restore the uh, ACM panels to look like new. And here's part of the building where you can see some of the panels done and others not. And just quickly to read this, on behalf of property professional consultants, we'd like to commend Everbright on their great products and excellent customer service. They've worked with us on multiple projects over the years and their workmanship has been outstanding. Their products are of the highest standard and would recommend them to any person to steel coat all metal materials. So this was from um, the, their director of operations at the time. And um, we, appreciate the testimonial uh, and we have done work with them ongoing as well. This is work, um, these next few slides are work done by Bromoco who is our UK distributor and they are a large contractor in the UK and they have several uh, buildings that they have restored as well as I should say more than several dozens of buildings that they restore and then they actually have maintenance agreements with these buildings to ensure that their coatings and their buildings look new all the time. Um, so again you can see these faded uh, panels of the building and how they were brought back to their original color and luster, the black. Uh, these are some window frames that were uh, cleaned up and coated with Everbright. And I do want to show you a couple of videos from their website on this same building because you can see the differences between a faded and oxidized building, the, the um, clean version, and then the coated version, and then how they, um, and then how it beads up the water. So, oh, forgive me for the sound. I'm not turn that sound down. But you can see here the original oxidation that is a coated surface that has been fully restored. And then you can see the lighter blue sections around the window frame. And then when he goes back here around the corner that they've cleaned off. Uh, and then you can see the final product there coated. But these that side has been cleaned, but not coated. And then that is the Everbright coated um, coating there. And then the next video, they show water being blown onto the surface. Oh, my goodness. There you go. And you can see how the water just beads up and runs right off of the surface. Um, so it really uh, creates a nice sheen that where the water even, you don't want to pressure wash the surfaces. However, um, uh, there we go. Um, it, it does do well. It holds up well to water. And so these are some window frames again that are just severely faded and oxidized. And then you can see how well the color comes back. And this will bring back any color of metal. You've seen blue and green, and this is now red. Uh, since it's a clear coating, it restores the original color and luster. So if someone wants to rebrand or repaint and they want a different color, Everbright is not your solution for that. However, if they just want to restore what they had, Everbright is a great solution. Uh, the other thing, you can see the, the faded green sign to the right, or I'm sorry, not sign, roof to the right was so severely faded and oxidized and was able to be brought back. It was practically unrecognizable from the green uh, that it once was. Another thing that Everbright does do is coat and seal rusted metal, as I mentioned before. So concrete staining from rusted metal is a huge blight on a property. Uh, and if, so if you can first coat the metal, the rusted metal to seal in that rust, sometimes you wanna remove the rust and sometimes the rust is a desired look, especially in today's um, architectural aesthetics, then you can seal in the rust you can prevent it from dripping further onto the surfaces around it. 
Um, this Hotel Cerro fountain was actually dripping rust. The water was hitting and it was spreading rust all over the ground in front of that uh, fountain. And they were able to seal in the rusted metal so no more rust stained the marble around it. And then you can see at the bottom picture here that the rust, how it brings it, it really um, brings out the, the rust coloring. It takes kind of that dull rusted finish away and really brightens up the, the rusted surface. So it's kind of, it's multifaceted when it comes to rust. So potential substrates for Everbright are painted metal siding roofs, copper domes and roofs, aluminum or, aluminum or steel siding, and metal buildings, curtain walls, storefronts, and window extrusions, rusted metal features, outdoor waterfall and water features, statues or public art, and historic restoration and preservation. So moving on to Protect-to-Clear, which again is a harder, thinner coating than ever bright. It's used for non-painted or plated metal, more of a mere finish polish, there is highly scratch resistant and for metal that gets significant handling like doors um, and door frames, and it reduces fingerprints and smudging. So when you have, and I think I have a picture here later, like we, we coated at our offices, all of our trash cans with actually not with protect clear, but with Crobial coat, which is the protect to clear base. And it's amazing. We did half of a few of them. So you can see the amount of fingerprints that build up on a stainless steel surface and how these coatings actually prevent the, um, the fingerprint build up. And then it also protects against tarnish and water spots. So uh, protective clear was used on the observation deck of the Empire State Building. They do have a large stainless steel wall in the observation deck that was coated with Everbright or I'm sorry, with protect clear um, Again, Bromoco has done a lot of work in the UK for our coatings and with our coatings. And this was the Hilton at Heathrow. And you can see that you really wanna protect the stainless steel architecture here. Obviously people are outside, their handprints are on it. It prevents those handprints. It keeps everything looking clean and fresh. They did the Unity building in the UK. Uh, which is the top of a hotel, they had severely oxidized and tarnished uh, paneling that they were able to restore and keep looking like new. And they have a maintenance agreement with this building to maintain the look of the building. So they go back and do service, not necessarily reapplication of the coating, but ser service to ensure the, the beauty of this building. Uh, these are some uh, stainless steel pipes at the McLaren building for McLaren Racing in the UK. It's actually a huge building. And you can see all the tarnish and drip down from, obviously it rains a lot in the UK, and they were able to protect those stainless steel um, beams so that they look new all the time. And that's really what our coatings do. They refresh all of the substrates, make them look clean and fresh and new. So protect clear again, can be used on architectural stainless steel structures and accents mere polished metal finishes, indoor water features, and uh, pool, spa, and sauna hardware as well. Um, and they are great for marine environment um, hardware, as well as uh, just coastal environment hardware. So minding the gap, obviously, as we all know, uh, window washing facade restoration is a seasonal work for a lot of it. Um, we have to deal with the weather. Uh, outdoor Everbright applications must be done where conditions are dry um, outside of within five degrees of the dew point. So, um, and between, you know, 40 and 90 degrees. So you want to make sure that uh, you have work when the, there is no outside work to be done. So to avoid seasonal slowdowns, uh, revenue dips and layoffs, you can consider adding indoor restorations, metal restorations, facilities maintenance, and that could be indoor and outdoor. Interior metal maintenance, whether it's the interior of storefronts, interior of the window of the door systems, or whether it's within the building, and then crobial coat application as a service offering. Um, so this is some rusted metal that was cleaned up and restored with 
protect to clear. And again, this can be could be any kind of column inside of a building that could be done when the weather is not great outside. Elevator restoration and um, bringing back elevators both inside the cab and outside the cab. Uh, for the doors and the inside paneling of the cab, if you have metal panelings, you would use protect to clear. Uh, for the button panels and any handrails, you could use crobial coat. So to talk a little bit more about crobial coat, again, it's a protective clear base with the microband antimicrobial silver shield technology integrated into it. It keeps coated surfaces 99% cleaner by inhibiting the growth of bacteria and microbes. It's formulated for all of the same things that protect clear and ever bright are metal, hardwood, hard plastic, ceramic, and fiberglass. So um, as you can see here, this is a 24 hour time lapse of an article that was treated with microban and without. So how microban works is it actually disrupts the cell, let's see, it disrupts the cell's um, reproduction abilities and it's, met, 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 metabol, it's metabolism, messes with its metabolism. So it doesn't allow it to grow. It's not a disinfectant or a sanitizer. It doesn't kill microbes on the spot. However, it reduces the amount, they cannot grow, therefore it reduces the amount left on the surface. For example, if you have um, wind, uh, door frames, door handles, door knobs, light switches, those kinds of items, if you do nothing to them, if you coat them with microbial coat and you do no cleaning to them, they will be 99% cleaner the next day. They, it, kill, it reduces all that bacteria within that 24 hours. And what are microbes? We're talking about bacteria, mold, yeast, algae, and viruses. So it reduces mold in restrooms, in locker rooms, in many other different kinds of uh, kitchen facilities. And then all of the, the typical microbes that you think of. So right now with the world becoming what it is, um, there are so many uses for this kind of a coating. Um, in offices, retail spaces, residential homes, especially multifamily residences, hospitality, public transportation, airport, schools, stadiums, uh, can be used in commercial kitchens because it's food safe. So it, there really is an unlimited amount of opportunity with our microbial coat coating. Uh, items that could be coated, doorknobs, light switches, handrails, turnstiles, office furniture, countertops, sinks and faucets, handicap push plates, elevator doors and button panels, restroom hardware, kitchen hardware, all of those things. Like I said, there's very much um, opportunity there with our microbial coat coating. So again, our three coatings are Everbright, Protective Clear, and microbial Coat. For the facade restoration, you're mainly going to be looking at Everbright um, unless you have some stainless steel or mirror finish um, accents that you're going to be using protective clear on. For the facade, the only thing you would use microbial coat on would be door handles, and that's protecting both the metal that you apply it to as well as the people opening the doors. I do have a uh, chart here that compares Everbright coatings with some of our competitors, Permalac, Nicholas, Lumaseal, Sterling, and Blue River. If you want a copy of this, I'm more than happy to send it to you. Kind of just goes through the basics of each of the coatings taken from the tech specs of the coatings um, so that you can do a, a clear comparison of them. Um, so again, my name's Jackie Bailo. I'm with Everbright, and I can answer any questions that you have. I'll look at the chat box and see. Um, so Fran had asked if we offer a warranty. So we do offer.